Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and town watchmen. I just got one. I got one question to begin this video. I mean, you got to ask yourself tonight: Are you feeling lucky, New World Order? Are you ready to be put in hell before your time? Why? Why wouldn't you just want to live out your days and leave us the hell alone? But that's not good enough. See, you're going to push us to the brink that we're going to take this country back. you, you got to understand something. And I'm talking to you that belong to the New World Order. you got to understand something. We don't play games. We quit school because they had recess. You put us out of work and you stole our pensions, so we found us a new job. It's called chewing chewing gum and kicking butt, and guess what? I'm about on my last piece of chewing gum. Don't you understand that? It just doesn't make any sense at all. It's not logical sense for you to want to keep pushing the American people. I'm asking you tonight, and I'm making a plea to you for the final time. I won't make another video to warn you that you've screwed the American people over enough, and that by gosh, guess what? You will be dealt with. You will be dealt with when you come to bring your hammer down on us that hadn't bothered you and been taxed to death by you, that have been pushed around by you. You see, but one thing is is, is, is uh, missing from your piece of the puzzle. And I know you've done strategic stuff and you got, I've got the documents right here in front of me. Let me move this 50 caliber right here and I'll shove up your nose and blow you away if you mess with American Patriot or me or my family. But anyway, <clears throat> I've got the documents right here from somebody you don't know, but they know you and they helped you with them. And you see, the thing about it is, we know about your tactics, we know what you're doing, the pre-planning, and how you've envisioned yourself in, in the situation. You've already done your, your uh, dry runs and your preps of how we will act, react, and all. But you know what? I'm fixing to put some videos out unless you kill me first to show the American people some different tactics to counter your tactics called guerrilla warfare for 2009, you see. You will not defeat the spirit that's within inside of an American patriot. You will not defeat us. Yes, you will kill a bunch of us. I understand that. But we will kill you back. Well, after you fire the first shot that's heard around the world, we will begin to fire back. Because of the Constitution. Okay, you understand me? The, the Constitution still stands today. I understand that some of you that believe it's a GD piece of paper. But I got news for you. Uh, you'd be better off tickling a tiger's butt in a phone booth to come screwing with the American Patriot, you see. I've endured my mind. I've prayed. I've sought the face of God. I've fasted on this thing. And I understand that what I must do is right. I understand that God does not want me to lay down and bow down to you and lick your boots because God said thou shalt have no other gods before me. You see, you've got another God, which is Satan. And he has many, many, many demons that you belong to. You know, Baal and Moloch and all those. And you know what I'm talking about, New World Order. I'm telling you tonight that you have, I'm going to tell you, you've made your bed, and by God, you're going to sleep in it when you fire the first shot against the American patriot. It's not going to be like Britain. We're not going to ask for our guns back because, by God, we're never going to give them up. You understand me? We're not going to give them up. You're going to get the business in, though. You understand? And I'm trying to tell you right now, right now, that you need to call in the dogs and piss on the fire because your camping day is soon over. You know, you know, you got your, your Obama going in and, and, and want him to give him a trillion dollars to do this. You're not going to fix the damn economy with a trillion dollars. You're not going to be able to fix it, you stupid idiots. Let me tell you what you should have done. You should have got rid of the Federal Reserve the, the same day you voted on it. We know that that gun bankers is what's destroyed the, the retirements of hardworking people. These hardworking people won't come out and make a video like me, but they're just as pissed off as I am and many others in America are. And you better be warned, and you better know and understand this. That by God, we're not going down without a fight. And I'll make that final offer to you tonight. To back up, come out publicly and say that you were wrong for raping the American people from their money. You were wrong for trying to pass laws in secret. And that you were wrong that you should have stayed with the Constitution. And by God, you may have a chance. 
but you can run in the friggin' mountain all you want to and hide with all those big doors you've got and all your underground cities, but there's a God in heaven whom I serve that He's going to hunt you down like a rabid friggin' dog and destroy you. That's my final warning to the New World Order. Now, I should go back to doing my calling and I should go back to firing up the American patriot to realize and understand that we will defeat you and you will be defeated. And by God, I hate to send you to hell early, but don't come screwing with me. I'm gone.